morning guys welcome to day 13 of december 13th of december i'm just trying out this new elf bronzing palette i got sent um i have had this before and it is very nice i can't believe how pale i am at the moment um my foundation is actually too dark for my skin but I've just ordered a new bottle of it, so... I'm also going to try out the contouring palette they sent me. And I'm going to use the Ultimate Blending Brush. The Elf brush as well. Oh, I don't know what colour to go for. I think maybe this one. This is quite similar to the normal contouring one. I feel like I'm just throwing my makeup on today. This blush is by Milani and it's and it's the berry amore one. Andy singing jingle bells in the shower. I'm also going to go in for some dark lips today, I think. I'm using the Colourpop Echo Park Ultra Satin Lip. <laughs> this is like the worst makeup tutorial ever. I'm also going to try out the e.l.f. Shimmer Highlighting Powder. This one's in Pearl Glow. Going for quite an e.l.f. day today. I do like trying these new products out though. Getting a good feel for them. I don't know how much to put on my brush. This could be like a crazy amount. We'll see. on that. Wow. So I have a couple of e.l.f. eyebrow products. I have the pencil with the brush on the end. The brush is really handy. But today I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow palette in medium. I haven't used this for a while actually. I tend to mix things up a little bit. Sometimes I go for the pencil, sometimes I go for the palette. And I'm going to use the little angled brush that they sent me as well to do this. Like trying out new makeup um, when I'm doing vlogmas because or vlogs of any sort because when I edit them I can look back and see actually if it looked nice or not. I feel like my makeup techniques skills are not on point today. This eyebrow always ends up looking way more angled than this one, but I feel like this is its natural shape is more angled than this one. Do eyebrows ever really look the same? No two eyebrows look the same. They're supposed to look like twins, but I think mine look like second cousins twice removed. 
Caterpillars. Caterpillars? <laughs> what are you on about? Twin caterpillars. My eyebrows are not like caterpillars. They're not. I actually am quite blessed in that I don't have a great deal of eyebrow hair, so they're pretty easy to maintain. So the plan today was to go to Covent Garden later this afternoon, but I've checked the weather and it's pretty much 100% rain all afternoon in London and all evening. So, I mean, I was pretty set on having some festive fun today, but I don't feel like walking around London in the rain is gonna be fun or festive despite all the Christmassy lights and stuff. Um, and the weather report says that it's gonna be more sunny and cold, like Friday, Saturday. So I think we may postpone Covent Garden until Friday, which sucks. But I also think it's the right decision. Oh, you're wearing a camouflage jumper as well. Oh. You always do this. Same and he really likes the La La Land City of Stars song, as do I. But he does not approve of Sheridan Smith's version for some reason. I wonder if it was Ryan Gosling actually singing that one. I don't know. He might have sung it in the film. I wonder if it's his voice in the in the film though. Must be. <clears throat> yeah. Might not be though. He might have sung the beginning bit. And then they might have used somebody else to do the hard bits. Oh my god. <laughs> the plan for today, now, I don't know. <laughs> I definitely want to go out. Um, we would have been coming back from Amsterdam tonight. So it's another day where we have nothing planned. But we're free. Um, and ever since our trip to Nobu on Saturday, which was amazing by the way, I keep... Was it Saturday? No, Friday. Um, I just keep reminiscing about that food. Uh, and I can't, for some reason, I can't stop thinking about Yo Sushi. Me and Andy love Yo Sushi. We tend to go at least once a month. And all I can think today is that I want Yo Sushi. So, oh, I've got a really itchy nose. So today, I think we might take a little drive over to Chelmsford and just see where the wind takes us, really. I really, I can feel myself slipping into like a really low mood this week and anyone who struggles with low mood or depression like you can it's almost like a big dark cloud and you can like feel it coming in and I feel like that's where I'm at this week so probably the worst thing I could do is like stay in and dwell so I just need to get out like I just need to get out and try and have some fun sounds really depressing sorry but some sometimes you have low moods and you can't help it even when it is vlogmas um, yeah, some days are better than others. Tomorrow I have actually got some really festive fun planned with my best friend and her little girl. Um, I think we're gonna try and take her to see Father Christmas, which will be so much fun. We've done it last year, but this year she's like two and a bit now, so, and she's like super intelligent and she just gets everything. So this year will be really fun if we can do that tomorrow. So I've just had a delivery and it's the Buddy Box. Um, and it's so cute. I love everything in here. Um, this box basically supports, it's like a depression charity called the Blurt Foundation and they do this monthly box, but you can buy it as like a one-off. And this month's box, I think was about self-care. So it's got a little pin in there. It says on it, self-care champion. I can't believe it also has some thought socks in here. I bought some of these from the garden centre a few weeks ago and they are like the nicest socks I've ever had. I think they're made out of bamboo or something, but they're so soft and stretchy. I'm so happy these have been included. 
Uh, we've got a little postcard. Self-care is the opportunity to refuel so that we can give more to the world around us. Oh, that's just like a little nice reminder you can put on your desk or something. This is just like a menu card of what's in the box. Uh, oh, space masks, interstellar relaxation. I've seen these. Oh, it's like a heat up mask. Oh my God, I might have to use that later. What else have we got in here? Natural foot balm stick. I've never heard of a foot balm stick before. <laughs> um, oh wow, well, there's a book. The Self Care Project. Oh, this is why I ordered this box now, I remember, because they said that their new book was gonna be in there. So this book is actually by the founder of the Blurt Foundation. I can't wait to have a little read of this. And then there's like a little magazine. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this properly later. shopping and stuff and you just want to pop out for lunch and you can't because everywhere is crazy near the control tower because it looks insane with the sunset and Andy's trying to get an Instagram. Get it! This is such proof that even on the rubbish days you can still find beauty in something. An amazing sunset and a rainbow at the same time.
back home, having a little lay down with the dogs and a cup of tea. And I think we're gonna eat our roundup festive biscuit thing we bought a couple of weeks ago in Brighton. Today has just been another day where it's just been like, what's the word? A washout. That is exactly the words I was looking for. Yo Sushi, something weird was going on in there today. It was just different, like every dish come out different to what it normally does and not in a good way. It all just felt a little bit like lacklustre and yeah, I mean it was okay. It was really funny at the end as well when the girl gave us the bill because she was like, oh how did you find your food and I just couldn't lie but I didn't really say what I really thought, I just was like, yeah it was alright. <laughs> So, yeah, and it was just chucking it down, so we didn't really want to walk around for long. So if you haven't seen these before, these are called Roundups, and they're by Ananda Foods. And they're vegan, and it's like a biscuit with marshmallow, and I think this is a festive one, it's got jam inside it. But, yeah, it's a bit like a wagon wheel, we always say, but it's not really. Oh, Halloween plates at Christmas. What are you thinking? Does anyone else's dogs do this? Our dogs just find it difficult to eat at their bowl, so they pick up a bit of food, walk across the room with it, and drop it on the floor. So we now have a carrot in the middle of our floor. Look, there he is. So basically every night at the moment, we're having to wipe the whole floor over. Why can't you just eat it from your bowl? You do it as well, don't you? And she's the worst culprit. Sometimes she even tries to take it on the sofa or the bed. Suki, don't you? What did I just say? And what have you just done? No. No, no, no. This is not cool. This is why we have to have froze over our sofa all the time. She the sofa. Yeah, she's got a massive lump of carrot on the sofa. She's not even eating it. I need to keep an eye on this one because it burns really quickly. It can go down to the 13th. So I've been playing with the iPad Pro on the Procreate app and it's actually pretty cool. I need to brush up on my drawing skills but it will happen in time I'm sure. I think a five-year-old could do better than this. <laughs> Here's some things I've been messing around with though. I think it would be really good for things like this, like maybe when I'm doing thumbnails for videos to make them stand out and I could like write something on here. Um, like... Like such. I also really like it for like the calligraphy thing. So just doing things like this for my blog will be really good. I was having a real play around the other night. This one was quite nice. This one was a bit crazy. I was just trying out loads of different things. I actually really just like simple things like that as well. Having a nice healthy kind of salad bowl thing tonight for dinner. <laughs> well, we haven't been being very healthy lately. It's happening, guys. There's nothing on TV. It's time. Oh, hello. You're, uh, you're probably here about the, the story. I always love to tell stories. <laughs> 